So hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 188 and in this video we are not continue with classes. We make a short break and the reason for that is we need to cover some other new keywords. But we will continue of course with classes because there is so much to talk about classes with inheritance, uh, virtual functions and all this kind of stuff. But like I said, we need also cover some uh, other keywords which are used in classes directly or indirectly. And that's the reason why I decided we make a short break, but we still use classes and train them because we have to continue with classes later on. And the new keyword which I want to uh, introduce is this keyword new. And this new keyword is actually, again, not just a keyword. It is an interesting topic because the new keyword uh, is an allocation uh, uh, keyword, which means we can allocate memory. And this memory allocation in C++ is special because it is special uh, compared to other uh, programming languages which are not allocating memory by the programmer, which is done by compiler and in C++ and some other programming languages, we can allocate memory directly with our keyword, in this case, the new keyword here. So, but we will also not talk about this keyword right away. And the reason for that, this new keyword, when I click on it, you can see we have here two options. And actually we will talk, uh, talk only about this first option. At least we try to talk about the first option. And when I click on it, it is very simple, absolute simple. It looks, you have just this word keyword new, and then you have here a type and depends on which other syntax you want to use. And this other things here are optional uh, things. You can read this optional option, which means not really needed. But the problem is, um, let's say it is not a problem. It's very easy to use and straightforward, but there is a problem to use this one here. We need uh, again, a lot of theory. And what we have to learn is, let me go back here. Well, let, uh, let's read here a little bit. So first of all, when we go here on top, it says here again, also creates and initialized objects with dynamic storage du duration. And when I click now on this dynamic storage duration, what this is, you remember probably this site. We already talked about this a little bit. I hope you remember it. There is this word static. What this means with storage specifier there is this word auto and all the other we have not talked and don't need. We can skip the other ones, but we have, you can see we need to understand this uh, dynamic storage duration here a little bit. And not only this storage duration here on top, we need to understand um, here, the storage duration, this uh, static we know already, automatic we know already, if not, no worry, just read it again. Uh, we have only briefly talked about this, not in depth, and this one will come to this uh, new expression, so we have to read this one here, then we have talked again about linkage, not too much, but in general, I hope that you know a little bit about this site, not in depth, because in future I want to make this more in depth when we talked about headers and uh, the CPP file, because then I can demonstrate you all this kind of stuff, what, uh, what we have here with linkage, with, uh, yeah, all this kind of stuff more in detail and better. So we have to learn a little bit about the storage class specifier, then, what is more important is we have to learn about, and now comes, uh, let me see, this is here. It is not here. Uh, there is here is oh, a lot of things, but important is now also 
Let me see, there was it, I think it was here anyway. This place. Yeah, I think. I think it's this. Not sure. Let's click on it. Ah, there is this one is another thing. But let's me let me go directly to that what I need. Uh let me go here back. And we have here a second line. And the second line is uh, is also this first line here, this new expression, this new is using this allocation function under the hood, which means if we want to understand this new more in detail, uh, which is not necessarily needed actually, it's when you just go here to new and understand this one, it's pretty simple, super simple actually, uh, but if you want to understand this a little bit more under the hood, we have to understand this allocation function as well. And there comes the problem more or less. The allocation function, when I click on this one, you will see when I click on it, we go here to this side, all right? And this allocation function, when we read this first line here, it is this new keyword operator which means this is also a keyword. When we go here to operator, where is that? I think we have not talked about it here. And oh, uh, here, this operator. So we have to talk about this keyword operator. We have to learn operator as well to understand this one, right? And this new we are anyway uh, trying to understand. And uh, you can see, uh, I shortly mentioned that an operator is just a function and you can see this is just a function, but when we watch a little bit more closer, it is again one of the special functions. And why I call this special function, first of all, it is an operator function. Operator, when we learn it, we will overload a symbol, which is one of this one here. We will overload, overload means we will just give them a new functionality with this function here, but that is just an operator function, not a special function. Why makes this one a little bit more a special function than the other functions? Uh, oh, watch it again. What is strange here? And I hope you see it. This one here. We have to learn what this white uh, pointer is. No, it's very simple to explain what a white pointer is, but the problem is with this white pointer, we need to learn how to handle this. And handling a white pointer means we need le to learn a cast. So we need again a new um, keyword. So we need this operator. Also, let's start again. We need new operator, and now we need also to learn what. Uh, cast is and here it is called static cast all right so we have to learn this one too also not very difficult but yeah cast is also a very uh, important topic and there are different things all right so we get it we need to learn that as well and you can see let me see if there is something else what we need i think that we covered we have to learn this little bit operator overloading yes we have this and static cast and objects yes we have to talk about objects again because this uh, uh, variable new will allocate memory for what yes you guessed it for objects or let's say just in our case variables and we have uh, again to at least here just a little bit repeat what an object is a little bit and you can see a C++ defines an object with these properties here. And yeah, and why I'm doing this one here in this video, why I'm saying what we have to do. The reason is I want that you try to read again on online and on C, good C++ books a little bit about this word keyword new. And the reason for that is, like I said, this keyword new, especially careful uh, about the new expression, not this allocation function here, because this allocation function is, uh, 
yeah, we will talk about this anyway. M what I mean more is not uh, the keyword new, uh, actually. What I mean more, you should read a little bit about allocating um, memory in C++. Why is it good? Why is it bad? And uh, what is, uh, yeah, what we have to avoid and so on. And if you read, you will read as well much about pointers because when we talk about this new keyword, we will go back to pointers because then we work a lot of, a lot again with pointers. And uh, we have only introduced a little bit pointers, what pointers are, but we have not talked about why pointers have so a bad repetition in C++ is, and you should read all this kind of stuff a little bit ahead because I will do in this practical um, videos, which I made, not this theoretical part too much. What I mean with that is like all time, I will just concentrate here on examples and this theory is very important, but to the time is just too short in this videos to go all in details and parts and yeah explain it here in this videos so that's why i say you should a little bit read ahead important is what memory allocation is in c++ why it is good why it's bad what how why are pointers good why are pointers bad um uh, and so on. This is the thing what you should do about and about this side as well. This storage class uh, specifier here a little bit. It is all time good to know this cut. This side is anyway good to know in general because you can see this are used in many other places as well. And yeah, objects is also okay. That's not so, but you can see here, here this, okay, again with operator and something like that. Anyway, that's it for this video. So we will learn actually not one new keyword. Uh, we will learn actually this one operator and static cars because they are all connected anyhow. And of course this strange white pointer as well. <laughs> And perhaps the size T as well. And let's see what we need else uh, during while we're learning this three keywords. After this key, uh, three keywords, I will not continue with uh, um, with this other keywords here. There are still many other keywords. Then we will go back to classes. This, but this um, keyword new is uh, very important, and uh, we can of course create user defined classes with the new keyword as well. And now while we learned classes, this new keyword becomes even more uh, important because like I said, now you can define your own classes and classes can be very, very big and very, very big classes means we need much memory and much memory means the a uh, compiler ca can perhaps not allocate all this memory in the stack. And then we can use, for example, for very big classes, this keyword new to allocate memory on the heap. And that's also, also very interesting, these two words. You should um, watch also for these two words, stack and heap, what is that? I think we already talked about them briefly, but read about this again, because stack and heap is very important with this keyword new uh, to understand uh, why we use a uh, new, this memory allocation. When you go to the topic memory allocation, they will anyway mention stack and heap. And you should also read this in the theory part, like I said, I will mention it in my practical part here, short, but yeah, uh, to explain it in detail, it's a little bit not the right place, I would say. Uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you uh, make a research and in the next video, 
when we start to learn these three keywords, I will not start with new because this is the last one. I want to start with the operator. Then we go from the operator uh, probably to static cast and uh, then to this or then we try to understand how we cast this void operator it's very simple then after learning cast and then we go to the new so the last step is new and after new we go back to classes and we want to use this new operator when we create classes as well but not only in our classes or so in general memory allocation very big topic again but yeah then we go back to classes and continue with classes inheritance virtual function destructor uh, um, yes uh, and all these other things what we need all right with that said um, i hope you try to research that because the next video will be straight to the keyword uh, to the keywords here and not too much about theory with that said if you have any questions any complaints any suggestions like all time write it in the comments and see you in the next video where we cover this keywords bye good luck and like all time have fun and never give up